And welcome in, my friend. How you doing? Hope you've had a great week, especially since that 2-0 shawacking of Notts County. And I mean, I did not see a 2-0 win there. I thought maybe a draw. You know, I said a draw. We could win it, yes. And so could Notts County. But i got to tell you, I was on the edge of my seat all game. I really thoroughly enjoyed that game. I really did. And I'm looking forward to this game too. But I've been riding high all week. I hope you have too. If not, you should have been. Because a 2-0 win at Notts County Meadow Lane doesn't come around every day. So, like I say, I've been literally just kicking my step. I've been bobbing all week long, loving it, getting ready for the FA Cup. And if you don't know what the FA Cup is, if you're worldwide, Wrexham, it's the oldest football competition in the world. And English and Welsh teams get to play in it. Not Scottish, not Irish. But it's the oldest competition, football competition in the world. Wrexham's highest achievement in the FA Cup, if you're talking taking out big teams, was taking out Arsenal in 1992. Yeah, Arsenal. So came to the mighty Wrexham. Yes, 1992. There's a few other games that go down as well, but that one sticks out in history for me. But this is the pregame to the FA Cup. Round one, taking on Mansfield Town, the Stags. And I'm going to show you, before we get into the game... A little bit of swag. Take a look at this in view. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Massivo, massivo. And I tell you, this didn't cost the world. Didn't cost the world. If you want to know, if you're interested in getting some of it, if you want to get one of these, and this is a hoodie. I got more coming. I got more coming, guys. All with this beautiful dragon on the front and the Wrexham on the on the front too. Very smart, very slick. And I got a couple coming. Well, they're actually, they're actually here, but over the next few shows, you're going to get to see me wear them. And like I say, I love it. I think it's absolutely stunning. And I've got different colors too. So down below, fifascup at gmail.com. If you want to get the info on how much and where, I can tell you that with a quick link to the site. And you'll be amazed how cheap, how cheap. And I tell you, this black hoodie, if you go on their website, it is very nice material. It's a polyester style. But it's not fleecy, fluffy, and, and and bobby. It's very smooth. It's very, very smooth. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really smooth. But check that dragon out, mate. Check that dragon out. It's very, very smooth, smooth, very nice. And I'll tell you what, for the money I paid, I paid 25 bucks. You're going to pay probably about, I don't know, 17 pounds maybe, somewhere there. But it's well worth it. Well worth it. Okay. Now you've heard the swag. Now we're in the show. Let's talk a little bit about the ladies, and then we'll get into the men. Right now. So talking women, Wrexham, AFC. I said last week there was a chance they could get a win, and they went ahead and did it. 3-1 over the New Saints, and it puts them in a good position in the league. We'll get to that pretty soon. Next up, though, it's Cardiff Metropolitan. That's going to be a toughie. That, if we get three points there, will be an achievement, an absolute achievement by this team. And I've got to say, Cardiff Metropolitan have won this league six times, so we're going in pretty deep. Also, next game after that, you're talking Swansea ladies, and that's going to be another toughie. So the next two games for the women's team, and the next game against the Swins, Swansea sorry, is on the 19th of November, but the next two games are going to define what happens for the remainder of this season, because if you get six points from those two games, you're putting yourself right in the mix so let's hope they can because it's uh, it's do or die time. But up so far, they've been absolutely electric. Got to hand it to them. They're only three points off the top. I mean, take a look at the table. Cardiff City on top, 16 points from six, yeah? They're going pretty good. The thing about Cardiff City women that I look at is that they've only conceded four goals in six games. That defines a championship team. I won't be surprised if they go on to win the title. Swansea City have chucked into second. We were second, and now Swansea City have gone into second. Goal difference there, but both on 13 points from six games. And then Aberystwyth just in behind on eight. I've got to say this much. If they stay in touch, they're going to be doing well. And I think for the rest of the season, will they win the title? I'd love to see it. Should it happen? I don't know. Like you've heard, I was saying Cardiff, Swansea City, but it all starts in the next game against Cardiff Metropolitan. So let's wish them luck in the next game. But so far, so good. I think, to be honest, they're probably doing better than most people thought they would do. Hence, next season's going to be even a bigger question mark before we finish this one. I wonder what they change and what they add. But if they're going to be serious title contenders, maybe they need to bring in some more players for the new season. Just saying, 
But so far, so good, and I'm loving every minute of it. And the fans down there at the wreck are too. So that's what we see. That's what's going on. And the next game after Metropolitan, like I said, is Swansea women. Moving on to the men now. Well, like I said, all, all October long and before October, and you're sick of me saying it, so I'll keep it brief. But I did say that I think October's going to be tough. And it was tough. It really was a tough. When you look at it, and I'm looking on the board right now, you look at those games, we've got some top op opposition, apart from probably maybe Sutton United, okay? But it was a tough month. November is coming up soon, and it's going to be much of the same. But looking at the record for October, though, seven games, you've got five wins, two draws, no losses, 12 goals, four, four against. The four against category is what I like most. Keep the goals to a minimum. And Arthur Okonkwo, wow. Wow. Everybody loves Arthur right now. And I mean, the confidence that he's got is beautiful. He just seems to fit with his team. I want us to lock him up. But man, he looks like a talent for the future, yeah? Remember, he did play with AFC Wimbledon 23 games last year. So it's a continuation of more loaner deals for Arthur. I think Arthur needs to look for a parent club to actually stick with. Maybe the Arsenal days are not going to happen for you, Arthur. But the Wrexham days, I think you want to think about that because moving up the table, it with a good team with possibilities of further promotion on, on the horizon. That's a, a team you want to be joining in because those kind of teams do not always stay in League Two. They sometimes go higher, right? So invest in the future, Arthur. Stick with us. Sign up a contract. And um, it didn't work out for the Arsenal days because look at the guys in front of you. But... Just take that as great training because, buddy, I love everything you bring. I just want to see you with a Wrexham crest on your breast for the rest of your life. End of. But looking at the month, got to say, it was absolutely more than I thought it could be. And um, boy, oh boy, looking at November, take a look at these games. Mansfield Town. Well, you got to say, there's a little bit of a difference in this situation here because the first two games shaded in green, well, they're cup games. You've got the FA Cup game against Mansfield Town and then the then the EFL Trophy against Port Vale at the racecourse ground. I'm going to tell you an interesting thing about Port Vale and Mansfield pretty soon. Keep watching. But Gillingham at the racecourse ground after that. Accrington Stanley at the Wham Stadium. Morecambe at the racecourse ground and Harrogate at Weatherby. How many points, and I've got to say, how many points do you think we're going to get from them four games, Shady and Red? The red is the league, the green is the cup, just if you know. So if it's shaded in green up there and it's shaded in red across there, those are league and cup. Green, cup, red, league. Four league games to end the month of November. Let me know how many points you think we're going to get out of that. But two home, two road games, and one home, one road game in the uh, in, in the cups. Now, talking Mansfield Town in the... Uh, in the game coming up in the FA Cup first round. We'll get to that soon. Port Vale, race course ground, League One. It's going to be tough. They are not on fire, Port Vale. Not on fire in League One. But they've got quality. And it's going to be a tough game. And then to round out the league games, Gillingham, Atkins and Stanley, Morecambe and Harrogate. I tell you, it's going to be interesting. But uh, like I said, October went better than I thought. I see a tough month in November. And if you want my truth... I'd sooner see us failing in maybe a cup game than a league game. You know what I'm saying? I like all the efforts to be in League 2 and get us out of this league. Now, looking at the league where we are so far, there's your top 10. As usual, looking good, Stockport County, not Sport County. Did lose last weekend and did have Wrexham join them on 30 points. Looking good. Wrexham's only lost two games. County's lost four. Stockport County's lost three. And Mansfield Town below haven't lost in the league yet looking interesting but yes Wrexham is in third looking good and then the game after that obviously you've got to say is going to be against Gillingham that's going to be a toughie as well I can't see that working out very hard for us when you consider they've lost seven games and we've lost two they've won eight games mind you so they don't draw but I've got to say you know they do give up more than they score. So that's what I'm thinking there. Let's get into the FA Cup side of things and Mansfield Town coming up again at Field Mill. Let's get into the FA Cup side of things right now. So again, just a quick reminder, the poppy. 
that's for Remembrance Day coming up next weekend. Yeah. Remember, I served in the British Army 12 years. Not, not boasting. I'm just letting you know that's why I always will have a poppy with me this time of year. And uh, big up to the Welsh Guards. I spent a lot of time with the Welsh Guards while I was in. And I was with a different regiment, but uh, I had a lot of good times with the Welsh Guards and a few other Welsh regiments as well. But the poppy is for Remembrance Day. I respect those that went and gave the highest that you can give. Anyway, moving on. It's Mansfield Town in the FA Cup at Field Mill. And i got to tell you, last time we played them, well, October's month began with Mansfield in the league. And Wrexham went there and played a great game. Mansfield played a top game as well. It was like not their best. It wasn't their best game, apparently. But they were in it. And they gave moments where they really did test us. And it was a real nail-biter at times. But it finished nil-nil. Now, this one, eventually, <laughs> however it comes down, is not going to finish nil-nil. Now, there's something really important and interesting. Recent history. Remember, I keep harping on, and you probably know it, but Mansfield haven't lost a game in 15 games in the league, right? That's their league prowess. Well, recently, in midweek EFL Cup, they lost to Port Vale. Remember I said about Port Vale and then they're a classy team? Well, they went to Mansfield Field Mill in midweek and won 1-0 against Mansfield. So Mansfield have lost recent. And that's not habitual for Mansfield Town now, is it? They don't lose many games. Now, how do you react when you lose? What's the coach looking for? I think Mansfield Town fans could probably answer that quite quickly, and so could Wrexham fans. When you lose, the, the coach is looking for a reaction. So who's the reaction going to be? Well, it's Wrexham on Saturday, isn't it, in the Cup at Field Mill. You don't normally see big teams lose two games on the bounce, right? Unless you're Man United when you get thumped 3-0 twice, Man City banged him on the weekend, and then Newcastle hit him for three in the EFL Cup as well. And Man United look dreadful. They look dreadful. The fans were walking out. There's more fans walking out than in. It's just a terrible state of affairs. So United keep losing. But Mansfield, they haven't lost many games. They're a team in form. They don't give up much. There's games where it can finish nil-nil like it did with us at the beginning of October. But there's also games where they trounce teams 4-1. So they don't lose many games. I'm trying to impress us on here because they lose to Port Vale midweek, now coming up against Wrexham. Do you think they're going to lose two games on the bounce? That's statistics. Just think about the statistics on that one. It's possible. But as time draws closer to the game, it seems less likely. So Wrexham's really got to pull it out and pull out all stops to get this one over the line with a win. So think about that. Think about this as well. Do you really want a long cup run? Do you want to stay in the FA Cup as long as you can? I don't know that I do. I mean, you see, if you stay in the cup, you're going to use energy that you probably didn't want to use. And you're going to take trips to clubs that you probably wouldn't have to take. Now, I'm not saying throw the game, but I'm just saying the more games you play, the tighter the schedule is, the more the bottleneck is towards the end of the season where you need rest and recuperation the most. And it's a chance then to literally separate yourself from a competition by losing a game, a tough game, but if you lose, it's fine. So I'm not looking for a cup run. If you want to get a big, long FA Cup run, let me know down below. Drop us a line down below. Remember, like, subscribe, subscribe, and like, and hit that notification button. And now, guys, start passing it around. I need your help. We've got to get over 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get things out as quick as possible. So it's really urgent that we get people over the line. We've got to get over 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I am imploring you. I am asking you nicely, guys. Hit people up and tell them to join this Wrexham channel because I'm going to be here for a long time. But the sooner we get over 2,000, the quicker we can start doing other things. And you're going to enjoy what I want to do. But until we get there, we can't move forward. But like I say, Mansfield, at home, have lost midweek to Vale. Are they going to lose again? Let me know down below. Are they going to win? Mansfield Towns, do you think you're going to win? How was the tough loss midweek? It doesn't taste nice, right? No. Wrexham don't lose many games either. Two on the season so far in the league. Not so bad. So, 
things to think about in the game, yeah? That's what I'm saying. Moving on. So, getting to the game. Mansfield Town taking on Rex AFC at Field Mill. I tell you what, I'm looking for a top, top game. Last time we played these guys was October. The, the beginning, the first game in October was at Field Mill against Mansfield Town. It was a cracking game. And either team should or could have won it. And Mansfield will feel that they have work left undone there because there was lots of occasions where they should have scored. But great defending and great goalkeeping was what Wrexham brought on the day. And Wrexham did have sporadic attacks going forward as well, especially in the second half, late in the second half, where Wrexham literally started to own the game. So leaving that game coming back, remember that was October's first game. Well, November's first game is the FA Cup. That was League Two. So it's an FA Cup game that we're digging into right now. I got to say this much. It's a dead heat, but you've got to give Mansfield Town the slight edge here. And there's a little thing in the week that happened that might be interesting to know is that in midweek, the guys from Mansfield played the fellas from Port Vale at Field Mill. Great game. And Mansfield, League 2, taking on Port Vale, League 1. Port Vale, League 1, not doing so good right now. They started early in the season after six games. They were in the top four. And ever since then, they've literally been a, like a team that's a stone tied to a stone dropping down the ocean faster than you can believe. They're going down the board quick time, fast approaching the time where they're going to have to worry about relegation. But here's the thing. League One, League Two, is there's quite some difference between the two. Even a struggling League One team is by far better than most League Two teams. That's a fact. Take that to the bank. But as bad as Vale are right now, they went to Mansfield Town in, mid, in midweek and scored a 1-0 victory. So Mansfield Town unbeaten in 15 games in the league lose at home to Port Vale. That's something to think about. The next game coming up for Mansfield Town is again at home, but it's now against us, Wrexham AFC, in the FA Cup. I put it to you this way. Do big teams normally lose two games in a row? Not normally, unless your name's Manchester United, because you lose on Saturday 3-0 to Manchester City and you just got shawacked by Newcastle United 3-0 again at home. Yeah, in the EFL Cup. So, yeah, big teams. Man United's not a big team as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, um, think what you will with that one. If I annoy you with it, yeah, no problem. If I don't, if I make you laugh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing here. But um, big teams don't normally lose two games in a row <laughs> unless you're Man United. Like So, Mansfield Town, they lose in midweek. They're not, they're not used to losing games at all. Do you think statistically, statistically, that they're up for two losses on the bounce at home, like Man United. I don't think that's a statistic that really holds water. Normally, when you lose at home, unlike Man United, you're looking for a reaction, yeah? The coach is looking for a reaction. The fans, most of all, are looking for a bloody reaction, right? And if it happens, normally it does, everything's good. So, <laughs> Mansfield Town, Mansfield fans, and myself, I think, are looking for a reaction from Mansfield. They haven't played all season in a bad way. This is the first loss in a long time. So, Mansfield's going to give us a reaction. There's also something else you want to think of, well, is this. is The last time that these two played was the start of October. It finished nil-nil. Both teams could have won this game. So, that is a precursor to really register what can happen in this game. Nil-nil, but I will say this. Both teams could have or should have won it. And you have to say Mansfield Town probably owned the game for the first maybe 60 minutes. But the final 30 minutes, Wrexham really came alive and had chances and had chances to have stolen that game. But there were some fine blocks from the Mansfield defence and some great goalkeeping too. So that game really in the league was a very cagey safe affair with sporadic attacks on both sides this is the fa cup game which is so much more different it's going to be so much more of an open game i expect to see goals and both teams can win it i don't expect a draw that's for sure but here's a question to you before we get to my prediction do you want a cup run do you really want a cup run do you want to go all the way because if you can get to the final i'd say yeah give me a cup run because it would be the best promotion tool Rob and Ryan could ever get for this club. An FA Cup final from League Two be amazing. But remember, the further you go in the Cup, the longer the season's going to be, 
And at the end of the season, successful teams play a lot of games in the bottleneck business end of the season. When you've got a big squad, you're okay with that. And Wrexham's got a very tidy squad. We all know that. So I ask you, do you want a long cup run? Do you want to go all the way or as far as you can? Or would you sooner focus just on League Two? Down below, make a comment. Let me know. And remember, like, subscribe, subscribe and like, and hit that notification button. And here's the thing, guys. Please help this channel and get as many of your mates on here as possible. We need to get to 2,000 subscribers ASAP. We've got a point to prove. Once we get to 2,000, we can start doing other things and you'll enjoy that. So let's get to my prediction right now. And remember, your scores down below. What's your prediction on the game? That's what I want to know. And what do you think is going to happen in this game? And how happy are you on the season? Make a comment down below. And if you want us to do anything different on the Wrexham, let us know down below. So to the prediction. So, yeah, I'm thinking of a 2-1. Like I say, both teams can definitely, definitely win this game. There's no doubt about it. Um, but I'm thinking the way the form is riding right now, okay, like I say, both teams can win it. There's no, no doubt about it. And, and you've got to think that Mansfield is your favourite. But the form that Wrexham has right now, undefeated all of October, riding into this, that's got to factor. The way the chemistry's setting up now with a lot of the new guys in the Wrexham team, they're adding they're really bringing something. They're changing, literally, the complex of the team in little ways. And it's those little things that are making Wrexham much finer on the ball, with the ball, moving forward. Not necessarily in defence, but definitely moving forward with the ball. We can't always talk about Arthur. We've got to talk about the other guys that have picked up recently, too. So in midfield, the additions, up front, the additions, they're working very well. Some of the guys don't get much time, right? But it's all about squad minutes and getting that squad right. So on the day, I'm really going for a 2-1 to Wrexham. I'll be disappointed when we lose a game anytime. But frankly, if we do succumb to Mansfield Town, there'll be a big team to have beaten Wrexham. Okay, so get used to that one. But like I say, 2-1 is what I'm looking for for Wrexham. I hope on the day that we do win. If we do lose, I won't have a sad face. I'll have a happy face in a little way. I won't be happy to lose, but I'll be happy that we can focus mainly on League Two because I think that's where we need to focus. Next year, when we're a League One club team, hopefully, 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 we can probably play with the FA Cup. But until then, I don't really want to. And until then, that's all we got time for on this one, guys. So remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, tell us what you think. And stepping back, what do you think about the swag? What do you think about swag? I mean, that that dragon, that dragon, mate. Look at that dragon. Look at that dragon. Look at the Wrexham. I'm in heaven. I'm going to put the link down below where I got it from. And if it's not with the video, wait for it. It will be eventually with there. I've got to go find it. But I'll tell you that, and I'll tell you the prices, and I'll tell you now. This swag, I mean, that's the first hoodie. I've got a grey one coming with a different dragon. The grey one I've got coming, different dragon. I've got a blue shirt, a black shirt. I'm letting you know too much. But this stuff rocks. So get ready for the game. Sign it. Seal it. Like it. Subscribe it. Hit that button and let your mates know all about it. And spread the love. Please spread the love. Remember, we've got to get over 2,008 SAP. It's only about 500. So let's do it. And I need your help. Guys, get ready for the game. Lots of love. And... Adrian, your dragon is on its way down there to the US of A, Bellingham, Washington, USA. Take a look. So there's your package, Adrian, on its way down to you. Bellingham, USA in Washington, USA, I should say. There's that package right there. So that's what you're looking for. And don't forget, guys, coming up towards Christmas, we've got another competition coming up where we're going to be giving away 3D printed FIFA World Cups. And the detail on them, it probably isn't coming through great because it's so shiny under the lights, but the detail is really decent, guys. So, Adrian, yours is coming down to you. Enjoy that. And moving on. Moving on, what I mean is this. I love to do positive things. I really do. I'm a positive guy, and I love to do positive things. So, to do the dragons, the 3D printed dragons, and, and to just basically give them away, I get a lot of fun out of it. I really do. And it really makes my day to make somebody happy somewhere. 
The last dragon to go out is the one to Adrian. So Adrian, enjoy the dragon. It's on its way to you. And I've got to say, the FA Cups, the World Cups, all kind of cups, we can make 3D versions of those as well and have competitions. So the World Cup that we're giving away is for Christmas. So fifascup at gmail.com. The email is down below in the description. Go down there, email in, and put your name down for a World Cup. We're giving away five, okay? There's five World Cups going to be given away before Christmas, and you're going to get them before Christmas. So we're going to be doing the draw in the first week of December, and straight away we're going to deliver out to the world. So you get your Christmas present before Christmas because there's nothing worse in a world because I love Christmas, but there's nothing worse in the world waiting for a Christmas present that didn't arrive before Christmas. That breaks your heart. So, the World Cups are presents for Christmas. So, email fifascup at gmail.com. Get into it. Email into it. Hopefully you win. And the people that have have all loved their presents so far. And there's nothing in return. I ask nothing in return. And your emails are not collected or anything like that. It's totally honest and above board. And you're part of the family. So that's what I'm saying about that. So finally, FA Cup's coming up. Mansfield on the road. Wrexham fans, let us know what you think about the game and what you're thinking about the scores. And do you want a long run in the cup? Or do you want to focus on EFL Trophy and then mainly, mainly, League Two? Or what's your thoughts? Do you not mind? Did you want more games the merrier? I mean, how does it seem to you? And don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification button and come back again because I really appreciate you being there. Cheers. <laughs>